Hey, we it. Say good morning. Say good morning. Good morning, everybody. And welcome back to a weekly vlog. I didn't pick up my camera last week. I kind of picked it up for like foodie things, but I just generally just wanted to take a week off and just enjoy the moment. And I had a bit of a busy week, but it was a bit of like a, a bit of a boring busy week, if that makes sense. I was just here, there and everywhere. And yeah, oh, thanks for that. Um, <laughs> lovely, where did I put that fussy? Um, yeah, so this is what happens. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't remember what I was saying. Anyway, it's Monday and the kids are back at school. We got up late. Miles woke up. Half past ten, half past two, quarter past four, and then seven. So I've been up a few times through the night, which has been a bit blah, and I was just like a zombie. Yeah, but never mind. I think he's growing, as you can see. Growing boy, four and a half months nearly. <laughs> he loves this. So good at grabbing now. So good at grabbing. What you got? What you got? You so good. Where's the squeak? Ooh! Right, I've been partially getting ready. I was hoping Miles might nap, but I don't think he's quite ready for it. He's basically been staying up for a good two hours before his nap the last, I'd say, week, week and a half. Um, so yeah, don't matter. He's all right. He's all right. I'm actually making some banana and chocolate chip muffins. I've got loads of bananas that I needed to use before they went too ripe. So that is what I'm doing. Um, it is, what's the time? It's like 20 to nine. So plan for today, I, um, I'm actually meeting my friend for lunch. I'm going into Castle Point at about half past 11. I'm not gonna like browse, I don't need to shop or anything. I'm just, I'm just going in there for pure catch up, lunch, out. Hopefully have a nap before we go. Um, <coughs> my friends just recently got engaged, it's exciting. So I just wanna see her catch up, see how it happened, blah, blah. I haven't seen her for ages anyway. She hasn't seen Miles since he was like, I don't know, he's, I think he's like, mm, I've forgotten how many weeks he is. You may just forget. I have a feeling he might be 19 weeks or 20 weeks. Okay, oven ready. Looking good. Miles is and screaming. So it's a really high pitched scream at the moment. Right, I have just whizzed around with the Dyson just over the hard floors. One thing I did get to do this weekend, which I'm really happy about and I've been meaning to do for ages, is clean my sofas and they look amazing. I used my Maxi Vax from. Oh, that's enough. Oh, he's going. I thought he went off. My maxi bags from Amazon. Yeah, I've just filled up my mopping bucket, so I'm just gonna go around and mop the floors very, very quickly. Another chore that I just wanna get done. Also, I've had a few people ask me about how I wash the mop heads. They just literally clip off and go straight in the washing machine, so I have a couple that I rotate. Um, but as you can see, they do get very dull looking. Just been getting this monkey sorted. He didn't want a nap. The floor's dry and I also pulled out the muffins, which look really, really good. Look at those. Can't wait to eat those later. Right, we're gonna sit and feed. Um, and then hopefully in a bit, when he's ready to sleep, it's nearly half past nine already, I wanna make a shepherd's pie. <laughs> I like to get a lot of done, a lot done on a Monday. Right, I managed to get out of the house. I put some makeup on. Mars didn't go for a nap, so we just sat there and I watched 
a couple of things um, while he kind of napped a little bit on me but I knew there just wasn't enough time by the time he got sleepy to actually put him down it just wasn't worth it um, was I gonna say oh yeah so on the way to Castle Point I actually need to it's about quarter past need 20 past 10 I need to quickly pop to a local gymnastic place Violet did a little trial on Saturday she's been on the waiting list um, for over a year so she had a trial and thank god she wanted to do it because you know you go on these waiting lists and you know waiting over a year for a place it sometimes like they're just not interested afterwards we've had this problem before especially with Alistair with other things as well but thankfully she wanted to give it a go and she really loved it and she was so good at it as well so um yeah I need to pop in make sure I fully sign her up for next Saturday and the next term obviously the, the term that we're in now so I need to pay so I'm gonna do that quickly before I head on to Castle Point and you know what I walk in, I'm walking out the door I made myself a quick cup of tea but I realise I actually haven't even eaten. I've not even had breakfast. <sighs> so, yeah. Just, honestly, just completely crossed my mind. Right, I am back home. Graham's just in having like a late lunch. So he sat with Miles. I'm actually going to crack on. It's like 10 past two. I've got to pick up the kids in a minute in this like torrential rain. I'm cracking on and making my shepherd's pie. Um super easy actually today because I pulled out this from the freezer which is already made mashed potato the normal mash and then we already had some leftover sweet potato mash that's going to be half and half lamb mince mushrooms need to wash those half an onion I'm going to add some garlic um, I needed stock cube and some frozen veg and that is pretty much it right so I've got half a pint of this is the oxo beef stock some tomato puree I've already um, saute down some onions a little bit just a little bit of garlic just with extra flavor mushrooms and then I did the lamb mince I added a, about a tablespoon of flour just it will help make a sauce right good squirt of tomato puree and then I'll add the veggies in I'll in a bit once they start boiling down again <laughs> he's a baby he's a baby this is how I get my workout in ready loves this ready ready <gasps> <laughs> right just having a little walk before dinner it's about half past four just to get us out he's super grouchy so get a bit of fresh air and it's dry so make the most of a nice evening actually look at that Too cold, is it? Just the Loving it. It's so heavy, though. I can't wear this for very long. It's literally like I'm pregnant times two. Like I'm carrying like twins. It's probably not like carrying twins, but you know what I mean. It's heavy. How long it is? How how deep it is? You mean? And long. There's a deep puddle. Alistair, it you've not got your wellies on. It's hard to tell which one's gold because there's so many that look like him now. Goldie! Graham's just pumped up the tyres on the mountain buggy. They're so flat. He's going to feed the sheep and I'm going to show you all the lambs. We've got like 30 lambs. No, not like dying, but... We have... How many lambs do we have? Twelve. For a bit. That's Carol. That's Karis, that's Karis with her baby. This one. Midge, the ram. Right, I've had you on charge. I was trying to like film the sheep and then it, my camera just died. Um, I've just pulled out shepherd's pie. Look how good that looks. I just grated cheese over and then popped it in the oven for about 25, 30 minutes. Miles is super tired. He just had like a really long feed and then kind of just slept with me a little bit while I was just watching the chase. Yeah, I'm gonna dish up dinner now. The kids are just doing their thing. I actually managed to wash um, Tupperware up and stuff, lunchbox stuff. The bane of my life at the moment, Tupperware. 
washing it up is the worst. As, I just find it just never cleans that well in the dishwasher, even the way. Right, baby's asleep. It is 20 past seven. I'm in my gym, as you can see. It's a bit of a state actually, because everyone just comes in and uses everything. Graham usually comes in with me, but he's just not feeling it tonight. But I am adamant I want to start off the Monday, you know, right, in the way that I want it anyway. Um, yeah, so back, I've been back in the gym for literally last week. Did a few sessions last week. Nothing too strenuous. Spent like 10, 15 minutes on the treadmill, but like interval training. So a little bit of running, a little bit of walking, that sort of thing. A bit of abs. I've been using my kettlebell quite a lot actually. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get a sweat on. I've actually been really enjoying it and I think it's because it's a bit of me time and I feel like when Miles is actually in bed, like properly in bed, not just like napping, I don't feel so much pressure, if that makes sense. I feel like I can relax a bit more. Usually on like like any other like napping time, I don't know when he's gonna wake up. I'm on my own, so I can't like, ha I haven't got anyone else to kind of help, if that makes sense. So yeah, to know that obviously Graham's around and the kids and everything, it's just, just I just feel like I can actually have some me time and relax. So I'll put the music on and I'm gonna get a workout in. Probably spend about half an hour in here, no, not usually any longer. Say good morning. He's a baby boy. Say good morning. Waiting for a cardio man. He's coming. We well between half six and half seven. It's about five past seven. Miles wake up at about ten past six, and then Graham brought him into me so I can just feed him in bed. But he did wake up. What time did he wake up? He went down at about quarter past seven. Woke up at about quarter to nine. Went back down by about five past nine, and then woke up at about twenty to three. And then he was back in bed by about three. So he didn't do too bad. Not as bad as the night before anyway. He's <laughs> Yeah. Is that your big sis? Is that your big sis? <laughs> oh yeah. Right, I have been a busy mummy. It's quarter to eight. The kids could get dressed actually. I've been doing pet lunches. Putting away shopping, made myself a cup of coffee finally. What are you doing? Get these leggies out. Hey, what are you doing? So plan for today, I am actually having my lashes done. It's been three weeks. They actually don't look too bad. So hopefully it should only take just over an hour, just for infills. Um, so I'm going for that at 10 o'clock. And that's pretty much our day. I don't really have anything else planned. Graham's gonna come watch the baby. Um, and yeah, just probably a bit of housework. Right, I think he's gone off. He was having a little bit of a moment, but he's so irritable. So, fingers crossed, baby down for a nap. So I did manage to kind of sort myself out, have some porridge while Miles was awake. Um, but he was just so, you know, they're just so grumpy. They don't, they don't want to do anything. He fed a little bit. He's like rubbing his eyes. Didn't want to play. Just like really irritable. So I put him down and thankfully he's gone off. I'm hoping he's going to have at least like 10 to 9 now. Have at least 40 minutes before I go. Um, and then at least if he does wake up, I can feed him before I leave as well. Because I'm going to be gone for at least an hour and a half. Uh, he should be fine. He's usually fine. Obviously, I don't do this very often. It's only once every three weeks. But he's usually fine. Graham like, entertains him pretty much the whole time. Or takes him for a walk, you know? Right, I've had my lashes done. You probably can't tell, maybe. I basically have a the classics. Put, I'm slowly having the classics C curl put back through. Because I had kind of thicker ones over like the Christmas period. Um, yeah, I've been feeding Miles for ages. He's really tired, so I just put him down for a nap. And um, yeah, I just hate leaving him. I just, it's just, it's just not nice, and he just doesn't really take a bottle very well. It's really kind of hard 
he just fights it and he doesn't like it so yeah I just hate leaving him I still feel like he's just too little to leave um even to the point where I just have refused to get my nails done again since Christmas I just yeah he's not one of those babies that would just sit in a car seat and just be happy so yeah I've decided just to actually my nails are in really good condition so I've decided just to paint my own nails and I actually picked up a couple of new colors on the way back to the car I popped into Superdrug and picked up um, the I love the Berry M jelly nail paints these are only 3 99 each but actually I think they must have had a deal on or something because these were only about £6.45 or something for both of them I got the shade Cotton which is this one and then I also got the shade Pink Lemonade so yeah I'm going to paint my nails right at the moment I've got a Essie I think it's Mad Mademoiselle but I had to bin it because it was really gloopy. I went through all my nail polishes because they're so, I've got so many, I've had them for years. And I've got rid of loads of really bad bloopy ones, colors that I know that I wouldn't wear. Um, yeah, so I've been painting my own nails and actually, like I said, they're in really good condition. Oh, anyway, I'm absolutely starving. I'm gonna get myself some lunch. The toasty maker is out. I actually made the kids cheese toasties for pat lunch today. I am also going to make myself a cheese toasty, but I'm going to use a little bit of chicken breast as well. And I'm using the King's Meal Whole Meal No Crusts, which they seem to like. And it's kind of like a nice sandwich because I'm not really that into sandwiches, but actually toasted and it's not too big, not too heavy. It's actually quite nice. As you can see though, they don't fit that well on the sandwich maker, but it still works fine. I'm also going to have, this might be a really weird combination for some people, but I don't know, it just tastes so good. I bought a couple of these last week, so not, they're on offer. Um, they're so tiny though, look how small, it's like half the bloody packaging. Anyway, um, just natural yoghurt, and then I break a little bit of the cinnamon square up inside, or in it, and then add some ground cinnamon on top. So good. This is what it looks like if you haven't seen it before. They do the different, I've got, um, they've actually got a new birthday cake one out, which I haven't tried before, but I've got the chocolate fudge, which is quite nice. The lemon drizzle is quite nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really fussy. A little bit of cinnamon. Oh yeah. I feel like my videos are all about the food. Um, yeah, for my dinner, dinner for tonight, I'm actually gonna be making a chicken veg pie basically what i did i think two weeks ago i did like a chicken leek and mushroom pie it's basically the same concept apart from i'm using mixed frozen veg just with the top you know like the puff pastry top roll out stuff right i'm just gonna catch up on love island oh yeah and yeah look at that if that's not comfort food gooey gooey cheese and and hello my gorgeous boy. <laughs> I missed him so much. Gorgeous boy, aren't you? Can you hear the weather? It's just gone crazy. The house feels like it's going to blow away. Rain, howling winds. Can you hear that, Miles? I've... Go on then, off you go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! <laughs> You're not moving! <laughs> Look at those little legs. Look at those little leggies! What are you doing? <laughs> Hello! We have been one irritable baby this afternoon. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, you wouldn't even uh, think of it now. Uh, you wouldn't even think it. He's been crying uh, a lot this afternoon. I don't know why. It's tough. It's been tough. I left at two o'clock just to go on early on the school and just so he'd sleep. Did he sleep? Not really. Not much. Little tiny, maybe 15 minute power nap. I've been literally like on the snacks. I mean, you just, I just feel really hungry today, really peckish, just wanna, just wanna eat. <laughs> All right, let's see if he can be entertained while I fold washing. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, very 
that baby. Okay, cracking over dinner. I have put in, I sauteed some onions down to soften them with a little bit of uh, rapeseed oil. Added my chicken, which was already cooked. Added about a tablespoon of just plain flour and then added half a stock, half a pint of stock, chicken stock. Um, it's kind of getting into like a saucy kind of thing now. I'm gonna add some frozen veggies and some creme fraiche because I have that in the, um, I was gonna say oven in the fridge. So I'm only gonna add like a couple of tablespoons just to make it creamy. And then I've got my tray and my ready roll puff pastry ready. And this is how we're doing it. I know. Okay, that is how it's looking once all the components are in. <coughs> I just need it to kind of come to a bit of a boil. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. I don't usually add salt just because with stock cubes and stuff they usually have that already in it. Um, and then I'm just gonna put it all together and that is pretty much dinner. Pretty simple and pretty speedy. I've got a baby in my arms now. <laughs> you can even do it one handed. Right, I am prepping lunches. I just sorted out the chaos from dinner time. It's six o'clock. Miles had like a mini nap on me while I was watching the chase, which is good because he was yeah it's just been a really i felt like it's been a really tough afternoon um yeah i've just felt like i've not been able to settle him and i don't really know you know you just you feel helpless like he's crying and i hate hearing him cry so much yeah it just oh, it even made me so emotional but anyway he's much happier now they're watching the greatest showman <sighs> all of them are just sat there just like singing away to the song anyway i'm gonna do some lunchbox prep because obviously I've got to do scoring tomorrow which is um, a Wednesday. No, no backup for Wednesday. Nice buffies. Is that nice buff? Yeah. Happy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. now aren't you? Yeah. So good morning. Today's a brighter day. Mar slept way better didn't you? He did quarter past seven till quarter to three. So good over seven hours, didn't you? And then he went from three till six. Winning. I even painted my nails last night in that cotton, Barry M cotton. Yeah. I've been, um, not rushing around, but I've just been getting a few bits done. I've put Miles on the bed with Violet. She's like being eating her breakfast in bed, watching Noddy. And I just hopped in the shower, got dressed, I've emptied the dishwasher, I've just done a few things, knowing that he's sort of content with her. Ah, yeah, and it's um, 10 to 7. <laughs> so we got over an hour, so I feel like on it this morning, which is really, really good. And I got a decent night's sleep. So yeah, today's a new day, obviously it's Wednesday. I've actually, I'm actually going to pick up a takeaway breakfast this morning from Toby Carvery. We went to Toby Carvery for like a Christmas lunch, um, a few obviously around Christmas as a family. Um, and yeah, they contacted me again, said that they've done this new takeaway breakfast. And they said, do I want to pick up a takeaway breakfast? And I was like, go for it. So I've ordered like a full on breakfast, a porridge and toast. And I would have ordered more um, obviously for Graham, but he's at market today and they want me to pick it up in the next two days and I'm too busy tomorrow. So um, yeah, I've got a slap up breakfast this morning, which is fab. Well, it's helping me pack the packed lunches. Nice, nice. Yeah. very, very tired, isn't he? Yeah. But I'm making one. You are making them laugh. And that goes there. And that goes there. Yeah, I'll show you Alice's shoes from September. Fifty pounds. These cost me fifty quid and they've lasted only a few months. I'm absolutely gutted. I'm gonna have to get him some new shoes already. He's wearing his luckily his trainers are dark. Yeah. He can wear those. But look at that. I don't even know what to get him. Whether to go back to Clark's or just get like a black pair of trainers. Because he's just he's so hard on his clothes and shoes. Wears through them so quickly. Right, we have got to Castle Point. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to come here, but I ordered our breakfast on my breakfast. Um, a little bit later because I was unsure what the traffic was going to be like, obviously being so early in the morning. 
and the traffic well it was pretty much non-existent which is amazing but it means that we've got like half an hour to wait to pick up our order <laughs> we mr grumpy pants decided to scream the place down didn't you yeah yeah we did so i'm just gonna feed him do a bit of playtime. i don't actually i showed you alice's shoes this morning I don't, know, I don't know what to do. You know, you just there's Clark's here, there's Sainsbury's, there's Asda. I did look in Asda yesterday, and there wasn't any, anything in his size. Um, M and S as well. Oh, I don't know what to do. It's hard because if I buy something without him, it's he's not one to care about the style. I know he just wants something comfortable, something just plain black, obviously, and just Velcro usually, just to slip on and off. He likes convenience, obviously. But it's more the fact that he's got quite wide feet and I don't know, like, perfect sizing, you know? Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, Wednesdays we usually do heartbeats. I've got a message already to say that it's been cancelled. So, yeah, it's a shame, really. Apparently the lady that does it not very well. Isn't it? No heartbeats today. We're going to have to find something to do, little man. He's just done the biggest stinker and I didn't bring his uh, changing bag with me because I didn't think I'd be out that long. But thank God for a travel one in the car. I'm so glad I keep this topped up because it's come in handy so much. This is actually from Mothercare. It's a shame that the Mothercare no longer exists, but obviously you can get them from anywhere. But it's so handy because it has the changing mat and all sorts. Isn't it? For a stinky little baby. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what? I swear it's those teething powders. Every time I use those teething powders, he has the worst nappies. They're just sorry if this is really tmi but they're just so like like a small amount squirty slightly green very weird and i used the teething powders yesterday and he had i told you about four or five dirty nappies um and he was he was not he was a really miserable baby yesterday um and then i've used the powders this morning as well so i think i'm just gonna stop using them because i swear every time i start again he just gets really dodgy belly look at my breakfast for one <laughs> this is like gonna feed at least three people i'm gonna save some for gray as well because clearly i am not gonna get through this all but look how good it looks you see i had a little nibble on the hash brown um i got porridge as well with the apple and berry compote and then they threw in like a ton of condiments and as you can see i'm like one-handedly Oh, I'm so hungry. It's like quarter past ten now, so I'm so ready to eat. I'm going to dish out my breakfast brunch. It's going to be my breakfast on my lunch. Hmm? Who is that peeking through? Peekaboo! I see you. Who's that baby? Who's this? Miles, who's this? Who's that baby? Right, Miles has gone down for a nap. Um, I think he's kind of shuffling a little bit. He's just super tired. Um, it's half past eleven. Surprising how quick the time goes, doesn't it? It like it's weird because it goes really fast some days and then it goes really really slow others. Um, I do need to just do a bit of tidying. Really, it's get it's a bit messy. I haven't had a chance to. I pretty much just carry a baby around with me all day, so I haven't had a chance to kind of put things away and stuff. So I need to do that. Put all the dishes in the dishwasher, which is one thing I didn't get to do this morning. Um, I might put a load of washing on. And yeah, he is, you can hear him now. You can see him, bless him. Those teeth, honestly. I did paint my nails last night, can you tell? They're like Tipex white. <laughs> I'm looking at them thinking, usually I have glitter over them, like when I have them done. Um, and it just makes them look less darking white. But yeah, I didn't get a chance to do that last night, so I might try and dig out a glitter. I wanna mention, I had my battery changed in my phone last week, and oh my God, it's amazing. I've had this phone for over two years. It was two years in October. I did a SIM only upgrade, so I'm paying like 18, 19 pounds. I think just under 19 pounds um, a month now for like unlimited everything, because there wasn't actually anything wrong with my phone apart from the battery and then I went into the Apple store and they said that they could literally change my battery for £49 and I was like, do it. And honestly, it's oh, 
it's amazing because previously I've literally for the last I'd say six to eight months my phone the battery it literally lasts well, it'd go from like 100% to like instantly 70% within like the space of an hour, even if I wasn't on it. Then it went to, I don't know, 20%. And then when it got to 20%, I'd probably have about 10 minutes left on it before it went to 1% and died. It would be horrendous and I'd be constantly charging it in my car. Everywhere I went, I'd either have to make sure all the settings were kind of the low dim light and all sorts, just to make sure it would last while I was out. It was a nightmare. But um, yeah, so far, it has warranty on it as well, which is great. But so far, so good. Like, I even got myself a new cover. See that? That was an eBay buy. Right. Miles had all a 15 minute nap. 15 okay. minutes. It is like, we, we did a bit of playing because he didn't want to settle. So I picked him up, did a bit of playing, fed him. Put him down because he was super sleepy and yeah 15 minutes all i got out of him it's now quarter to one <sighs> yeah where's the day gone like where has it gone one thing i did manage to do in 15 minutes is make some flapjacks flapjacks so i'm happy about that i kind of zoned out it's what makes me happy is like cooking baking and i zoned out and just made some flapjacks they're so easy as well so quick and the house smells incredible now, which is also making me extra happy. So, um, yeah, and the sun's shining, so I think we're gonna get outside in a minute. I think I'm gonna take them for a walk, take the dogs out as well, and then come back, have my porridge. I've, got, I've still got my porridge from Toby Carvery. So I'm gonna have my porridge. I really fancy that, actually, because I haven't had porridge today um, for, like, my late lunch. Anyone else's baby hates being wrapped up. He hates jackets. Don't you? He hates hats. He hates it. Dinner, why? You look so cosy. I think this is actually the first time I've successfully got him in this sling. And I prefer this one because of the way they sit like frog, frog's legs. It's much, much more suitable. Um, usually he absolutely screams. I've only tried him in this sling like twice. But I think he's just bigger now, so I think it's just better. But this is kind of like an ergo, but it's actually from Verba Day. I had one of these similar ones with my other two. I am going to try and get a hat on him. Yeah, because he can't really see much with that on. Hello. This could be a win. You could be winning today, Miles, with this thing. He's excited. Come on, old man. So, I think it was 13 this year. 13 in January. Crazy. I say in January, it's still January. <laughs> Wasn't it? It was your birthday, beginning. Oh, so sunny. Lovely. It's a lot warmer than I thought it was, actually, compared to this morning, anyway. <sighs> Heck. Kind of got a hat on him. <laughs> it's the only hat that fits him, literally. His head's just grown out of all of them. Piggy's rooting around the what's left of the trees. <laughs> what are you doing? That's Wiggy. Big bug. Look at this. Got to avoid this now because I've only got my mini wellies on. Look. <laughs> got to avoid Chew because once Chew runs past, he just literally is like a racehorse and gets me filthy. And it picks. You don't know if they look very white. Just warmed up my porridge. Look at that, the apple and blackberry compote. That's way better than I expected. So I'm gonna have this for my brunch. He came bearing fruit, veggies, and lots of flowers. Look at those. <sighs> Mars is still asleep. I think it's been about 40 minutes so far, which is the longest nap he's had in like two days. Sounds like someone's waking from a two hour nap. Mother-in-law just dropped off a cardigan that she made him. Look how cute that is. Been asleep for two hours. So needed, clearly. Right, just about starting dinner. I'm just washing up the Tupperware from kids' lunch boxes. They eat all their lunches, which is fab. I'm actually making or cooking mussels 
I bought some mussels from Asda. Or was it Monday? I don't know. Yeah, Monday. Um, just, it wasn't part of my meal plan, but you know when you just fancy something? And we haven't had garlic mussels in ages. So I've got two packs of those, and I'm going to do them in like a bolognese sauce with spaghetti. It's really quick as well, which is one good thing about the meal. Um, yeah, Graham's back, so he's looking after the mice at the moment. And he did school run because obviously the kids were um, at our school club anyway, but Miles was still asleep. So it was just easier for him to kind of do it and he was around, so it was quite lucky really. Otherwise he would have been one miserable baby like waking him up and then putting him straight in a car seat. These are the ones that I got from Asda. I have used them before actually. Sorry, the lighting's really light change that and I'm going to put a ton of spinach in I just need to wash it so just a little pointer if you have never cooked mussels before any of the ones that aren't open you discard so don't prize any of them open it means that they're dead and you can't eat them and they'll probably make you quite poorly so um yeah make sure you pick out the ones that are closed right that is how dinner has turned out it looks amazing I can't wait to tuck in that's Alistair's this one's mine actually. I kind of do a mixture. I take some of the shells out um, and leave some of them because I know the kids like picking bits out. That's what they, they like picking their bits out of the shells. Brownies, I I've got brownies, flapjacks I made today. They kind of crumbled a little bit because I cut them a bit too um, early. I couldn't help but just cut them. Delicious. And then they, which one do you want? They all stuck. I know, that one's done. Mmm. Kids are getting in the showers. It is quarter past six, so yeah, Miles is still up, just been feeding him. Right, workout done. I don't know why I always do a workout when I've just washed my hair. Anyway, got to get these kids, big kids to bed now. It's just after eight o'clock. Oh, and I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, it's nearly the end of the week. Good morning, everybody. Quarter past four. He woke up about an hour ago for a feed. Put back down at half past three. And then he woke up at five to four. I thought, oh, that's different. Usually, you know, longer stretch than like 20, 25 minutes. He had filled his nappy. He hates having a dirty nappy. I was like, oh, there's no going back. When he's awake, after a nappy change, that's it. Like, he's awake. So, yeah. Good morning, everybody. I definitely won't be back going back to sleep, I doubt. And he probably will. In the next hour or so, we'll see. Oh. His stretches anyway are longer between naps, if he naps. So yeah, starting my Thursday bright and early, I'm pretty tired. Not gonna lie, pretty tired. Um, <laughs> he hasn't done this in a long time, actually. Like he hasn't done a 5 a.m. in a long time, it's usually six now, which is so much better. Okay, good morning again. I totally regretted that coffee that I had, by the way. Miles went back down about, just literally just after 5 a.m and he slept for another two hours and I obviously I've just put myself back to bed there's no way I was staying up for the sake of it but yeah totally regretted the coffee um but I did manage to get a little bit more sleep in I think I mainly probably just had about an hour maybe um by the time I could like get myself off again but anyway 10 past seven he's just woke up just fed him I'm just going to fold a bit of washing. I need to get pat lunches done. I didn't prep anything. I mean, most of it's prepped it already in the fridge, but I didn't actually put anything together last night. Um, yeah, so happy Thursday again. Let's get this day on the go, because we are out the house today. We're meeting up with a couple of new mums that live sort of local-ish. Um, and of course, we're meeting in John Lewis in West Quay. It's kind of the place to go if you haven't been there already <laughs> to 
to the cafe upstairs, so I'm meeting there because it's just, you know, it's nice just to have a cup of tea, a little chat, and it's quite a nice sort of sort of friendly, calm, baby friendly environment, which I would say if your babies are not into soft play yet, they're quite little, they've actually got babies the same ages as Miles, which is good. I think they've both got baby boys as well. So yeah, I'm really excited about today. We've had a little, we've had a little group chat going on and it'll be really nice just to get out of the house actually, because we've been in pretty much for two days straight. And it'd be nice to get out. And I don't know what the weather's gonna be like though. This is my little concoction of breakfast that I put together yesterday. So I had some leftover like crumbled flapjacks that I added some natural yogurt, some apple and pear puree, and then topped with some flax seeds and hemp seeds and then I'm also going to slice in a banana and that's going to be, I'm going to mix it and that's going to be my breakfast. And Miles is already winded. While well, the kids are entertaining Miles quickly, um, I wanted to quickly mention my last weekly vlog, I had some like amazing comments, I had so many people like message me as well about just feeling the same, um, you know, being at home with a baby, I mean it's great, don't get me wrong, I love every second of it. But yeah, it is lonely and it's hard sometimes, especially to like meet people. I don't know why it feels harder this time and I don't really know why. Um, but anyway, um, I did make a group on, on Instagram. You can find it if you go to my normal Instagram. It's kind of in the highlights. I'm only obviously taking people, it's private. So I'm taking obviously people that want to meet up and are more local around the south. Um, but I'm gonna try and arrange a few meets around over the next year. So it'll be in different areas. So some of some of it might be like like Hampshire side of like Southampton, Winchester, that area, and then it might be further down. Um, and then also Wiltshire, that sort of area, because obviously I'm quite central to everywhere. And it will be nice to obviously get around and get lots of people involved as well, and not just one particular area. So um, yeah, message me if you want as well. I really don't mind. Um, Especially if you can't find it as well. I will try and leave, leave it linked, but sometimes these things don't happen. But um, anyway, I'm gonna have my breakfast. Right, time to get myself sorted. Doing the house just feels like a tip. Feels like everything, every single light's on. I've got washing to do. There's just stuff everywhere. It's not as bad as probably most people think, but it's bad enough. You see Violet's hair? Is he whinging already? Oh. Well, he's ready to go. We're not in any rush though to get out. Here we go, outfit of the day. That jewel shirt, which I showed you in my last weekly vlog maybe. I can't remember, it might be the one before. I did end up getting it, as you can see. And he's in this little M&S. Cute little outfit. Right, drizzly day, I am ready on my way. I actually left a little bit earlier just because he's been up for two hours and he's done. He needs to sleep, so it's time to sleep on the road, which is good. So yeah, I will probably see you once I park up in West Quay. Ooh, it's actually quite mild. It's just miserable. Good afternoon, early evening, everybody. So I had a really lovely meet up earlier today. Um, I got home about one o'clock. <laughs> and he was really really good he went too bad were you a little bit whiny fed a little bit fell asleep on me while i had chats yeah. and tea and i had a jaffa cake muffin which was amazing from in john lewis um and then yeah got back at one o'clock and then my dad was here waiting so i've been spending a few hours with my dad he's yeah. literally left i thought he was going to stay for dinner but he yeah. he just had other plans yeah. so um yeah i've just been trying to cook dinner we're having bangers and mash yeah. tonight with broccoli. Graham is literally just coming in, which is great. So I can hand over the baby and finish off dinner. It's nearly five o'clock now. But yeah, the afternoon's pretty much just gone. Just absolutely gone, yeah. isn't it? And he hasn't actually been too whiny. It hasn't been too bad. He's still going. And this whole week, he's pretty much been going to bed at seven o'clock, which is amazing. It's like to actually keep him awake till seven has been so good because he's just generally been sleeping better. Obviously, I know he woke up at like stupid o'clock this morning, but that was down to having a dirty nappy. Just he doesn't, he can't stand being in a dirty nappy, which I don't blame him anyway. <laughs> yeah, look at you, and he made two little friends today. 
and they were just wow um toby was Ooh. literally i'd say the same size they're only like i think she said three days apart and Ooh. yeah they're both Ooh. big bruisers big boys um and yeah ethan's 13 weeks so he's a little bit behind but he was yeah chunky little things aren't you all growing beautifully and Mars was having like a full on chat, weren't you? With the babies, you just, mm. just love looking at each other. It's just, mm. yeah, just love them. Getting really way more interactive. I think we need to start doing some more baby groups with like other little, little babies that he can really see, isn't it? Because he just loves them. I like to see little people, isn't it? I'm absolutely starving. I haven't really eaten much today. So I'm really looking forward to sausages and doing sweet potato mash, onion gravy. Mm. <laughs> Look at him. <sighs> Cover up those chunky legs. Oh, oh, you dropped lion. Right, components, onion gravy, best pork, best sausages. Kids mash, my grays mash, broccoli, and I pretty much just like load as I go. Does anyone else do that? I pretty, I just clean and load as I go, and I can't wait to like wipe down all the sides. It's one of my favourite things. Hi, right, in the gym, baby's in bed. It is half past seven. Graham's going off to quiz at eight o'clock, so I'm going to get half an hour workout in. I can't believe I actually have the energy, but I had two oranges. That may have helped. A bit of vitamin C. Um, yeah, they're all just. Obviously, baby's in bed, but they're all just watching um, Despicable Me too. I love it. But I'm gonna do my workout. I'm gonna do it. Um, yeah. And I'll probably catch you all a little bit later. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just have a little bit of me time when I get in, have a quick shower, and then just catch up on some rubbish. I've got Love Island to watch. I'm excited to see what happens. Um, because I think one of the girls is being kicked out tonight or was kicked out last night, but I haven't actually had any spoilers, so I, I don't actually know who got kicked out. So yeah, be good to catch up. I see you standing there, a soothing atmosphere. Smell of your aftershave, sweet blossom in the rain. You flip around your hair as if you're unaware, but you should know that I'm looking at you. You make me feel good everybody so we had a four o'clock start again this morning I think I jinxed it from yesterday it didn't even have a day nappy he was just buzzing I actually fed him at half past three put him back down 20 minutes later he was just screaming and also giggling at the same time when I picked him up he was just wide awake ready to get up for the day and um, yeah, it's just been exhausting. Had him up for about, he must have gone down again about 20 past five. And then I went and put myself back to bed. And then my Lumi light lights up and woke me up at the seven. Because obviously I've still got to get the kids sorted for school, you know, breakfast, lunch boxes. I hopped in the shower because he was actually still asleep. Um, coffee. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just, you know, it just takes its toll. And I had a late night as well, which obviously just didn't help at all. Just catching up on best home cook, which I really like. Yeah, I'm going to feed him quickly while my oats soak. Graham actually took the kids to school. Hi. <laughs> He's so cute. Meeting my friend today, Vicky. We're going to... um. She mentioned this sensory music group, which is actually free as well. And then it's in a cafe sort of place. So we're going to have coffee there as well. I'll just catch up because I haven't seen her since before Christmas. So yeah, she's got like a... God, she must be nearly two now. Little girl. You okay? <laughs> Look how he says brightly, honestly. Like, I don't know why he decides to wake up at four o'clock at the moment. I fed him at like, I think he woke up at about 11. So when I went to bed at half 11, it was mainly because 
I was editing for ages because I just wanted to do that. I pulled the, the computers actually on the desk. I pulled the computer out on the desk because I just haven't been able to get in and actually do anything while it's been in this nursery. Um, so I edited it, which took me about a good hour. And then watched Love Island. And then it got to like, yeah, 11 o'clock. And then he woke up anyway, so I fed him. Graham came in because he was at quiz night. And yeah, the latest night I've had in such a long time. Definitely feel it today. Right, heading out. It's the most stressful part of getting out the house. Is literally <laughs> hair everywhere. It's awful today. Is literally getting out the house. Like putting him in his car seat. Christ. So I'm putting my shoes on. He's crying. Put him in the car. He's crying. Until I start moving. I've got you in the dash. So sorry if I'm not looking at you. Um, but yeah. So I have just done a little really a detour but kind of on the way to where I'm going I'm in Wimborne now Wimborne Minster um, I picked up a little seat for miles so it's kind of one of like those first seats where there is kind of a little bit reclined um, I've been trying to get hold of one for ages because he's not that keen on the snug seat and I think that's because he's just not quite strong enough and he finds it very restrictive as well with his like chunky legs so I got him this Fisher Price one from a lady, which was it's only ten quid. I just need to strip it off, give it a wash, um, and it's got toys on it as well, which is quite sweet. Um, yeah, so on my way anyway to uh, a place called Streetlight. I don't know if I mentioned where we're going, but we've taken I've taken the kids here a couple of times. It's basically an indoor skate park in Wimborne Minster, and it's really really nice to kids well Alistair especially likes it more so than Vi she's not really that into like skewering and stuff but um yeah they've got a really nice cafe and yeah it's gonna be nice and I don't really come to Wimborne that often but many years ago this was before Violet was at school I'd say about five six years ago I used to actually do a Wimborne market here I don't think it no longer runs it just got worse and worse and then we just stopped doing the Wimborne market but yeah I used to do a little Wimborne market it was actually a really nice market for like you know a good couple of years and then it's just gone downhill sadly right I've just got here I am quite early it doesn't open till 10 and I'm here at half past nine but it's good to get a parking space because it's at a little industrial estate but yeah, upstairs in the cafe, there's like a little tiny soft, soft play area. So it's great for like toddlers and babies. And they've also got like pool tables, uh, ping pong tables. It's just really nice. Um, my friend Vicky, I met her here for the first time and we've been back a few times. Um, yeah, and it's really reasonable as well. Oh, look at the knitted card again. She was like, it was the last bit of wool I had on this color. So I wanted to use it up and it won't, it probably won't last long. You can see it definitely won't last long, but it's cute though. Look at you. Why is it whenever I go anywhere, I need a wee? That's the first thing I need to do. As soon as I stop, I'm like, right, where's the toilets? Dock to the toilets. I'm gonna have to wait. Not get the best bladder at the moment. Right, back from Moo Music. That is what it's called. First session's free. It was really good. It was really full on though. We were there for, I think the session's like 45 minutes to an hour. But we stayed extra because I met my friend and we were just having coffee and just chatting. So it's now like 10 to 1. We have really kind of, I don't know, the day's just gone. Miles is actually asleep in the car, which I have to keep checking on him because he is just not a car seat car sleeper. You know what he's like, so he'll probably be screaming in a minute. Just put a cheese toasty in the toasty maker. And I've stripped the seat that I got him and I'm just at some point going to wash the parts in the bath so this is a seat it has obviously a cover that I've put in the washing machine but um yeah it's quite grubby quite surprised she didn't like wipe it down or whatever because that's tend to you know what you usually do when you sell things but it, other than it's a bit grubby it's actually in really good condition it comes with a couple of toys attached to it but yeah I'm gonna give it a really good cleaner wants to get a chance I got to work out how to put this back together I picked up the kiddies from school it's like 22 four 
Um, yeah, so this is the thing. It's like a Fisher-Price seat thingy. Graham took it apart, so I'm not sure actually how it's done. Maybe that goes in there, actually. Like that. Yeah. See the way it's like sits on the floor? Quite like the look of that. I think he's going to hopefully like it. What's this? Hmm? And it's got a little tray, which is quite handy. Look at that. Miles. <laughs> you look so grown up. You do. <laughs> oh look, see the way you sat, like on the floor. It's kind of just way more supportive, but without the restriction, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it's this, I think it's this bit in the beginning when they just can't quite hold their full backs and bodies up. But look at that. He's a big boy in there. Ooh, new toys, different. New toys are always fun, aren't they? He looks so cute. <gasps> Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. And this tray does come off, but that's quite a good snack tray, like when we get to weaning. All right, I'm going to start on dinner in a minute. We're having pizza tonight. I wanted to get the pizza bases that I usually get from Waitrose, which I've used a few times now, which I get in the Ocado delivery, but they've all sold out. So in two weeks time when I do another order, I've put like double the batch in and they're in stock at the moment. So fingers crossed, I don't get a sub or anything. But I um, I ended up picking this pizza dough roll. So it's like two, two pizzas bases, but they're just rolled up. Um, so you just top them and bake them instead of like having a base already baked, if that makes sense. So we've got that to try. It's only 99p more than what the other ones cost. And it's still kind of a bit more fresh. And yeah, I'd obviously it's, more, it's still generally easier for me to do that than actually make pizza at the moment. Um, yeah, I've just, I've got Tupperware to clean. Um, thankfully it's the weekend tomorrow. I actually mentioned earlier to Grey how like me and the kids have already eaten all the grapes. Well, actually me and Grey eat a lot of the grapes from Farmer's Market. Um, all the green grapes, should I say, because the grapes are amazing. And they're massive oranges. I've just been obsessed with it, been eating like two or three a day. We've already run out. And what did he do? He went to the green grocer and picked up more grapes and more oranges. Yum. I okay, don't know what I was expecting, but I think I was expecting it to be already rolled and I can just like roll it out and maybe stretch it out a little bit. But it comes like this, which is fine, but it's not as convenient as I wanted it. Now I'm sounding really lazy, I know. But it actually really does roll out really nicely. It was it was actually super simple. The dough is really nice dough. So yeah, and obviously it's a, just a quick convenience thing you can even want to do with kids as well. Good job. Good enough. Yeah, spread it a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. Right, oven ready. <gasps> Catching you in the act. <laughs> we haven't got any mushrooms, sadly. It's the only thing I forgot, actually, Fine, in it? this week's order. Oh. Right, pizza's looking good. Comfy's on. I've been looking forward to a glass of something all week. Look at his little wells. That is how pizzas turned out. It turned out really nice actually, like a oh. bit of a stone baked pizza, I'd say. Violet's dressing miles. Good morning everybody. I realise, as always, I didn't finish my vlog from last night. Miles went to bed. What time did he go? 20 past 7, something like that. And then, yeah, half past 2. So he did a really good stretch. Went down to 3, woke up at quarter past 5. And then, he's crying now. But I, I literally just put him down. So, I don't know if he's going to have a nap or not. But he does seem pretty tired. It's quarter to 7 now. Anyway, I just wanted to end my video. I really hope you enjoyed my weekly vlog. I hope that hasn't been too boring. I don't feel like I've really done much this week apart from like cook and eat and cook and eat pretty much. <laughs> and just look after a baby like normal. I am actually going to get my baker on if he does nap. 
I've got like plans to make some muffins. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a great week and any video requests, I know I've been putting out a lot of foodie videos, I just find them quite easy to record. Um, but yeah, any requests let me know and I will see you all soon. We've got...